and welcome back to another Two Tuesday. Let's get into it, guys. So, I took last week off. Um, I had some issues with work that I needed to figure out um, on that day, on last Tuesday, because university, time sensitive, et cetera, et cetera. So I had to take care of some stuff, um, which is why I didn't upload last week. I'm sorry, I know, I know. Uh, but I thought since I am moving, I would do a little series on the differences in renting here in Korea than renting back home in the US. So there's gonna be a few videos talking about renting in Korea and the different styles of renting and moving and everything like that. So for those of you who do not know, I've been in Korea five years. Um, this is gonna be my sixth year, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And I have moved, um, I have lived actually in three different places. So I've moved twice. This will be my third move in Korea and it will be my fourth apartment in Korea. And so I have kind of navigated the system a little bit um, in my time here and I thought I would discuss that um, in the next coming videos and stuff. So yay. This video is going to be dealing with the idea of a deposit on an apartment, okay? So they're very, very different. Um, rent is normal here. You know, you pay $700 for rent, you pay $700 back home in the US for rent, whatever. Rent is the exact same. However, the deposit system, oh, okay. The deposit system is something completely different and something that um, I want to kind of talk about. So first, there are two different types of deposits that you can put down. Jeonse and Wolse. Okay, I do Wolse. I don't have enough money for Jeonse. First, Jeonse is a huge, large deposit. We're talking... Um, probably the price of the apartment or um, maybe half of the price of the apartment. You put a large chunk of money down. Um, we're talking maybe a hundred million won, which is about a hundred thousand dollars, depending on how big the apartment is. It can go up really, really high from there. Um, and it also depends on location as well. So Jeonse is a huge, large deposit, okay? Most foreigners, unless they're married, don't do a Jeonse apartment um, because it's just a lot of money to put down and, you know, a lot of banks will not give loans to foreigners for that, uh, for Jeonse. There is, I believe, one bank that gives loans to any uh, not any foreigner, but gives loans to foreigners um, for Jeonse. And I know as an E1 visa, I can get loans. I can get credit cards. I can get anything. So I could do Jeonse if I wanted to, but for me, I don't want to. I'm going to stick with Wolse, which is a smaller deposit. And when I say small, I don't mean small, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not small at all. Um, it's, you know, in the U S a deposit is usually just one month's rent or maybe even two months rent. Okay. So if you're renting an apartment, that's $700, your deposit's going to be $700 plus first month's rent. So 1400 up front. Not the case with Walse and Korea. Um, deposits are large. You can find places that are like 2 million won or $2,000 deposit um, or $3,000. Or $3, but generally speaking, most places are at least minimum 5 million won. 
deposit, okay, or more. Um, now, the more you give, the more deposit you have, the less your rent is going to be. So for instance, my current apartment is, we'll say, I put down $5 million as a deposit and my rent is $700,000 so $700 a month. Okay, had I put 10 million down, this same apartment would have been 650,000 won or $650. Okay, so you can see that when you put an increase in your wash say, when you put an increase of 5 million, usually, um, you will get a decrease in rent. Now, for me, it's scary. Um, I as an American, remember guys, like I'm coming from a system that a deposit is just one month's rent. So if you, if your landlord, for instance, doesn't have the money when you move out to give you back your deposit, well, okay, that sucks, but it's not $5,000, right? I know that there are ways that you can secure your money. You can go to the local, your local goo office and register your deposit for your apartment, um, but office tells you cannot do that. I will talk about this in another video and like the nuances of the different types of apartments and stuff. But for me, over 5 million won is terrifying. Um, I know lots of people who do it because it's really nice to have a very low, like a lower rent. But for me, again, I just can't do it. So the differences um, in renting here, at least for the deposit, are completely different than what they are in the US. For me, it's crazy. When I first started doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, why is this so high? Why is this so high? But I'm still like that. <laughs> I haven't changed. I've been renting for five years now and I'm still like, why is the deposit so high? Why is this so much money? And I have enough money that I could increase to 10 million, but I'm not going to. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So the next video, I'm going to talk about um, office tells, villas, and apartments, um, and the differences between those, okay? So I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.